welcome to this week's episode of Rusty Sheep. If you're a new viewer, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. My name is Ines and I live in a city called Ghent, Belgium. This is my weekly podcast talking about knitting and my projects and what has been going on in my life. Um, I'm a bit later than usual. Normally I record on Sundays or Wednesday today. Um, yeah, my schedule is a bit off and um, it will be like this for the next coming weeks. So I still have two more days to work and then I'm off for five days and I'm so looking forward to that. I'm going away for a weekend with a friend, uh, Christine, the one um, who likes to sew as well. Uh, we are going to the Ardennes, that's like the, the forest area of our country. Um, a bit of the mountains, but yeah, we don't really have high mountains here. Uh, but yeah, just have, going for walks, uh, just enjoying some peace and quiet. It's really lovely. Uh, we rented an Airbnb and we're really looking forward to it. So, yeah. Um, yeah and um, knitting wise, um, I'm going to start with my finished object. It's not a lot because, yeah, last week it was a weird week. Again, time flew by. Don't know what happened to that week. Um, I do know I had a friend over the last weekend. She stayed the whole weekend, and that's actually one. Uh, actually, the reason that I'm off with the podcasting because by the time she left on Sunday, I was really tired and I just wanted some peace and quiet and like like a long time. So yeah, let's start with the finished object. My hats. I'll just wear it for you guys. It's um my Raven DK hats. Uh, by Claire Borchardt. Um, I made one in the, uh, I showed um, another uh, finished hat in the um, previous episode. Um, it's knitted out of Anel the sock yarn with two strands held it together, held together, sorry. Um, yeah, I did that because I needed meterage for stash Um Total 252 meters. I have a pom-pom. I bought it in Brussels in that small shop. So yeah, my hat for the winter is bright red. So um, yeah, uh, it looks a bit funny when I'm seeing myself, of course, in the camera, but nah, I love my hat. So uh, yeah, my finished object. Um, sorry. <laughs> my hair has been all over the place today. Um, yeah, I loved it. It's actually the third time I'm knitting this pattern. I just did a twisted rib for six centimeters and then the pattern says, it's like a broken rib and it's really stretchy and I love it. It's just a, a mindless knit. Um, like there are only repeat of two rows in the pattern and it's just nice. So you can see directly where you're at so you don't need to mark or remember where you were. You just look at the previous stitches and there you go. So my Raven Decay hat, it's a free pattern. I'll put the link down below. Um, I have a few objects on the needle, projects on the needle though, uh, on the needles. Um, the firstly, I'm doing a test knit for um, Juliana Lustenader. Um, and before I talk about that, the acquisition. You know, I had a challenge with myself that I wasn't allowed to buy yarn in June and I made it. Mind you, the 1st of July, the order went out. <laughs> I couldn't wait any day longer. Um, yeah, I had to choose, um, 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 the yarn I bought was, um, for the test knit, so it was good the first couple of days, mind you, the, I did some orders this week as well, and that wasn't really, I spent a lot of money this week. Well, it's yarn, you always can use it, and I'm making my own sweaters in it. So, um, the yarn I chose, or the yarn I bought is Drops, uh, Bommelin. Um, the reason I chose this one is in the gray, silverish gray colorway. Um, the reason I chose this is because um, for the test knit, I had to get um, a yarn, preferably linen, with not a lot of meterages. So that means a thick linen yarn. Um, I don't know if you know anything about linen. I don't know a lot, but the, the most of the brands I saw, they had a lot of meterages. So that means that's really thin and um, you cannot really knit with two strands holding uh, two strands together while knitting with uh, linen because when you knit with linen, you'll see every stitch. 
So um, if you make, make a mistake somewhere, correct it because you'll see it in your knitting. Uh, whilst with the yarn, uh, with the wool, it's not that obvious. Um, it blocks out. It doesn't really matter if your stitch is a bit wonky. Uh, but with linen, it is important. So um, I had a challenge finding the right um, linen. Um, because in a pattern she uses Quince & Co. Castrol, um, but I need about eight balls and that would have cost me around 70 euros. And I think 70 euros is a lot for a test set. Even I don't know if I'm really going to uh, like the top I'm making. I do like the design, but yeah, it's different like seeing the design and really being fitting on you. If you see it on you, it could be different. So I don't want to take that chance or take that risk. So I decided to go for drops. Because um, the Quincenco has 69 meters on 50 grams and this one has 85. That was actually the closest I could find. Others were like 130, 150 meters per 50 grams. And as knitters, most of the time we're really happy that we get a lot of meter riches out of our 50 gram or 100 grams gain. But in this case, I really had to pay attention because the thinner it gets, that means yeah, I had an issue. So, um, it would become more see-through as well. So I chose that one. It was on sale as well. Uh, the moment I was looking for it, it was, um, I think it was around almost four euros a skein, uh, a bull, and I would pay one euro 90. So with shipping included, I paid less than 20 euros. So I think that was a good deal. Now, I know some of you are not a big fan of drops. Um, well, the whole ethical part they do, I know that, um, there have been some designers that they, as soon as they launch their design, that drops will will uh, take it afterwards and change it a bit and then just launch it for free. It's not something I have experience with, but it's just that something I picked up in the community. Um, and I know there was like a block on drops uh, a while ago. Um, yeah, I just chose this one purely because the meter riches and of course, I don't want to spend 70 euros on it. So, but let me get my test knit okay and i'm allowed to talk about it i checked with juliana um it's yeah it's a quick knit i use needle size 6 us 10 for this let me just get that so um third bull i'm doing it and i just split it for the front and back let me just get these are the stitches on the uh, um, spare uh, thread so i just it's, this is the lace pattern. I'll just show you this. It's an amazing lace pattern. Um, because it's a really special uh, construction method. I'm not going to really talk about that, but I'm just splitting now before the um, body, the front and the right half. No, the, the, the right and the left half of the, the body. So, yeah, I'm following it step by step. But as you can see, like I, I am an even knitter and even now you can see the difference in my stitches here, for example. I did something here, it's a bit looser. Yeah, um, if and I keep pulling on it, it won't help as well, but still. Um, I know, I know, I know why this is it. Um, I had to do um, German short rows and this is a line from the German short rows, picking up the stitches again. So, yeah, it's my first time with knitting uh, with linen. Oh, mind you, it's not completely linen. It's 50% linen and 50% cotton. Um, I didn't really find 100% linen, but it's drapey, it's airy, it will be nice. It goes like this, I think, I assume, if I check it, something like that it will be something. So, yeah. Oh. Uh, I love it. It's something else. It's something new. Um, the lace pattern is uh, really um, easy to remember. Uh, and you can see as well where you're at. There, it's a four row chart. It's really good. Um, it's I recommend that lace chart. Um, I cannot recommend the full um, sweater or top yet because I haven't finished it. So I'm not sure how it's going to be. But yeah, I've been enjoying this. This is a process I've made since Sunday. I started it on Sunday. Let me just check. I'm sure I'm not just getting more stitches. But go like this. There's a lace chart here as well. And then this happens. It looks a bit weird if you see the construction. But I, I have full confidence that it will turn out 
rates. Also, let's start here. So I assume like this is, it goes like this. Like this is the full length of the body, I assume. So we'll see. So yeah, my tat snip. And now, is it? Yes. No, no, no. I'm going to show you another project in a minute. Um, I have a, a sheep stitch marker here, but I'll, uh, and I have three of them and the other two are on my other project. So I'll show you them. So test knit by Juliana. Not sure when it's going, going to be launched, but I will announce it though, as soon as it does. The setup is a bit different today. Normally I sit on a, I put my camera differently, but yeah, it's all set up. Uh, I've been working from home and I was like, okay, just shoot a quick video in between because, <laughs> yeah, um, as I'm going on holiday and then I'm only back by Tuesday and then um, I have to work again for a couple of days and then I'm away again to the coast. So, yeah, sorry for the setup. It's not the professional, normal style of me uh, podcasting, but something different. Um, my second project on the needles are a pair of socks. Oh, I just dropped them. Hold on for a second. Yeah. So um, this is the yarn. Or it's from my stash. It's from my West Yorkshire Spinners. It's the, called the the colorway is called Wildflower, and I'm knitting socks out of it. I'm always having a pair of socks on the needles, and I'm now knitting socks for my stepmom. She loves woolen socks. So she, even now with the, now the weather is really gray out it's about 16 degrees it's really cold like comparing to the previous weeks but um yeah she loves their her, her woolen socks uh even now she wears them in the evening like when she's watching tv just having being cozy in the couch and she just wears them and i've already gave i already gave her like two pairs and i thought that was time for a third pair um so yeah it's also my meeting knit so every time I have an online meeting, I have, to, I have to follow, but not really participate, just to follow what everything is going, like people are saying. Um, I need to keep my hands busy, so I knit in the meantime. Good thing is my camera is off, and I have other meetings as well, and it's, 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 my camera is placed perfectly. Like My laptop is on top of a book, so it's a bit higher, and I just can sit like this. I knit and nobody knows what I'm doing because I'm like they only see this part of my body and I, I love it. So my socks, I'm just doing the heel now. I'm doing a German short row heel, but it's I'm still working on it. So yeah, it's not a lot to see yet, but yeah, the sock. It's the first sock though. Um yeah, I'm I'm carrying it with me. My pyramid bag bag I made, just every chance I get in the just in between hours or during meetings or whatever I just do a quick uh, just a few rows and yeah I I like that just having a project on the needles that I don't need to think about um the heel is not an issue for me anymore I just know it by heart um yeah I love the I always use the uh, the same heel method like the German short row heel that's my preferred method so yeah look the heel is getting there. And I think the yarn was wet at some point or I carried it around while it was raining because it really smells like sheep now. <laughs> so yeah, I'm always yarn smelling. Second project on the needles. And then the third project on the needles, mind you, it was I was in between projects and um, I, was, I wasn't allowed to order yarn yet. So I couldn't start a new project, but I didn't want a new project. So I went through my Ravelry library and see what I had, what kind of um, uh, patterns I had. And I came out on, of the pattern, my inner Viking pullover. Um, I'll put a picture down here. Um, the inner Viking pullover is um, a color work uh, pullover, but I decided to make it into a cardigan. Since I got the sticking now, the sticking disease, or how should I name it? I'm not sure. I will come up with something. So um, I checked with somebody who, who has been sticking a lot. And I was like, is this possible? Can I do this? And uh, then I went through my stash. And um, yeah. And I checked 
what kind of yarn I still had left. I'm just going to take it for a second. So I had some undying, undying yarn left, uh, undyed yarn. So it's like a great color. And I'm going to combine it with the Rama. Now, this is like um, a thick uh, fingering weight. And this is like a DK weight. And the pattern said sport weight. So that's in between. So what I did is I test knitted. I made a, a swatch. Actually, I never do that. And I'm a lazy swatcher as well. I'll show. I'll take my swatch. Because I wanted to see how the colors would fit. And also if I would have, um, if I could manage to get gauge. Um, and I did. So I know what needle size to get. And um, and I only did like, the, the it says like so many stitches per 10 centimeter per four inches. And I'm a lazy one. I just knit two inches and see if it matches with the rows they're asking for. I uh, divided by two. And if I get that, that means I'm not knitting the full four inches or 10 centimeters. And I, I cut it open. I did it in the round at first, but I cut it open to see how the yarn would stick together. And it stays so and this is not even supported or um there's no crochet band around it i didn't support it in any way and i've been pulling it and it stays together so that means it's good now roma yarn is sticky we all know that but this yarn is a merino yarn but um so i thought it was soft but you can see here there's some uh it doesn't really show on the camera but uh yeah it, it's, it's a bit hairy, if you can call it that way. I'm not sure how to, uh, I don't know the difference between woolen spawn and stuff like that. Maybe I should look into that. So um, I know now that the, the, the yarn will go well together, uh, that will stick together, because that is important as well. Now, if you're sticking, you always can sew it as well. You can sew over it to support it, but um, I've never done that, so yeah. Okay, but these are the colors I'm using out of my stash and being good so yeah so uh, that was like the last couple of days in june i did that and i started it I just and the pattern said do like six rows or of rib but i thought yeah i don't want six rows i don't like it, it was a like six rows were, was half of this for me i, I like a, a big rib so i did about 11 and now i'm at the part i need to increase uh, add stitches and then I have to do short rows but here I um I calculated seven extra stitches uh, for the um, for the stick here between those little adorable sheep and I'll talk about that so um I'm turning into a cardigan we'll see how it goes I'm not really um time pressured for this one this will be just a, a in between project because um I have to finish the test knit before end of July. Then I have another, yeah, I'm picking up a yarn tomorrow as well in a local yarn store. I already put down the order through the website, but I'm picking it up tomorrow, um, not on Friday. And um, I'm making a nice, beautiful shawl for my friend because it's her birthday at the end of July and she wanted one. And um, so, yeah, I'm doing that as well. So this is like a low priority project. It would be nice to have a, a cardigan extra because I only may have one that I made myself. And then the typical Bernadette, everybody wears the fluffy um, cardigans, the, the alpaca ones. Um, but I don't really wear that anymore. Um, I knitted that about four years ago and it's not really my style anymore. But hey, well, having extra cardigans is always welcome. So yeah, this sheep, they're cute. Um, let me just zoom in on that. Look, they're so cute, the sheep. I ordered it through, um, actually I got to know the, the, the person who makes it through Facebook. Um, I'm in a Facebook group um, and every month that you can promote yourself there, like if you're making stitch walk, uh, markers or you're uh, um, a, a, a dyer, a yarn dyer, you can just promote yourself there. And it, I bought it in June and I wanted to buy something knitting related, okay? After being like um, banned from buying yarn for a whole month, I had to buy something. 
So, uh, but I did love the stitch markers and um, it's called Craft Tiara. I saved the card especially for this. Um, she has an Etsy shop. I'll put the link down below as well. Uh, amazing ones. There are some bumblebees and honey grades and it's really, really beautiful. And you should have a look on that website. Um, mind you, it is around 10 euros for three markers. It's not the cheapest to buy markers, but it's nice to have like, have like little trinkets and stuff like that. So um, yeah, craft your up. Um, and it arrived quite quickly. I think within the week I got it by post. Um, she is located in Switzerland. So even for us being in Europe, it was quite quick. Because uh, sometimes even to the Netherlands, the country next to us could take up to two to three days. So um, yeah, craft Tiara. Let me check. So, um, oh, no. I'm so crazy about the sheep. <laughs> Knowing me, of course. Um, yeah, um, I, I have some exciting news to tell you guys as well. Um, like the last couple of months, I've been looking to move and I found a place and then again, I was rejected and it's been like a whole story and I've been a whole thing going on and I actually dropped it a bit. It was like, I'll see when it, something turns up and, and actually the first house that I visited, I got news, I was selected. So I'm moving. It's a two bedroom house with a garden. I live now in a one bedroom flat in the center of the city though. The house that I am going to is outside the cent city center. It's still okay. It's like 20 minutes outside the city center. There are like two highways I can take to go to work. Um, there's even just this, the local uh, road I can take if the highway is blocked, for example. So for me, that's fine. I have a company car, so um, I don't mind. Um, I do have the luxury now of going to work by foot. It takes me about 10 to 15 minutes to do that. But um, I'm at a certain point in my life that I just want some room, space. You know, um, this is like half of my apartment, what you can see right now. This is my cupboard. Here is my table. And I use this table to eat uh, as a desk. Sometimes there's a hobby table, a sewing table. So, you know, I'm limited in my space and I have a lot of yarn. <laughs> it's not the reason that I'm moving, but it's always welcome to have an extra room. So I'll be having that. Uh, one bedroom will be my bedroom, of course. And the second will be my craft area. And I will, I'm looking to buy a knitting machine or maybe a spinning wheel or something like that. So, or, or weaving. I wanted to expand my, my creations and my creativity as well. So it would be nice to just have a bigger place and with a garden. Now I have a small terrace and I can I do fine. And I'm really grateful that I have a beautiful apartment right now. But yeah, I'm, I'm so happy that I can move. And um, yeah, so August will be very busy. July is very busy. I only have like one weekend weekend available left, and that's the weekend of first of August. The other weekends I have always stuff to do. Like this weekend, I'm going away for four days, and then on Tuesday I'm going to see my sister Esti. Uh, I'm going finally to give her her sweater. I needed the um, campsite pullover for her, and I haven't seen her. She had exams and yeah, with the whole Corona thing, so I wasn't able to see my sister. Um, we'll take pictures, of course, we always do funny pictures, and I'll add them in a later episode. Um, and then the weekend after the coast, as I mentioned, and then the weekend after, uh, my two friends both have their uh, birthday. So one is on Saturday and the other one is on Sunday. Uh, so that will be busy as well for me. And then the, we're already August, so... <laughs> and then I'm getting my key for my place, so that means I have to start moving, and then... Uh, the moving date is planned for August 15th. Um, I have some friends helping, some colleagues helping. So it will be very busy. My brother is helping as well. Um, yeah. So uh, I need to start packing. and But it's good. I like to keep myself busy. and uh, But I do need to make sure I get some knitting uh, time in between as well. So I think everything so the test net the viking pullover slash cardigan i'm making um and then the socks so okay guys uh 
I would like to thank you. Thank you for watching this episode. Um, I hope to see you guys soon. I'll, I'll, uh, of course, I'll try to make some videos of my weekend. It's a really lovely nature uh, part of the country. So um, hopefully I will get some shots in so I can show you. In the meantime, have a happy summer and um, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.